In this session, we're going to learn about English language learners, discuss equality versus equity, look at student population demographics, discuss... In the U.S., between 1980 and 2009, the number of school-aged children who spoke another language in the home... Can you take a walk with me? I don't want you to worry about the test, okay, Moises? Yes. When a student has knowledge in a native language or learns in a native language, certain skills will transfer once they learn English. In this session, we're going to learn about WIDA. We're going to learn how to use the WIDA tools for lesson differentiation. Learning objectives are essential, both content and language. The target visual is perfect for symbolizing content and language objectives. Language objectives also can focus on the knowledge of specific grammar points, such as capitalization, pronoun usage, past or future verb tenses. As a quick review, let's see how we would develop a content objective and a language objective for a particular lesson. In session four, we're going to continue to learn about and discuss the first component of SIOP, which is lesson preparation. We're going to view two videos. Graphic organizers. They provide students with conceptual clarity when information is too difficult to grasp. Cognates are a list of words related in meaning and form to a word in another language. In this session, we're going to watch a video about the third component of SIOP, comprehensible input. And we're going to discuss various methods of adapting. So thinking of all those things, let's do a think and try. Imagine I'm asking you to make an origami crane as the one pictured in the lower... One way to adapt content is by using outlines. The teacher prepares outlines to equip the students with a form...